Hey guys, Majeffrey's here, and welcome back to Cities in Motion 2. Uh, and before we go any further, I'd probably like to point out now, um, if anyone can hear that my voice sounds a little bit different, that's because I've picked up a, some sort of cold, I've no idea what it is, but uh, apologies if my voice sounds really odd. I'm doing my best to keep my voice as it should be. Uh, so yeah, that's that out of the way. <coughs> and there's my throat. Right, let's just get straight into this episode, shall we? Um, what did I do in the last couple of episodes? I can't actually remember. I can't remember if I showed you guys this bit or not. I built these new exit roads for the depot, for the trams to run down. And they're okay, I suppose. However, I came up with a plan very, very recently. I think it was like yesterday or the day before. Um, to change the tram system almost completely and go away from what I'd call the norm um, for me building tram lines but I feel like it would be a really good way of um, of controlling the flow through the hub especially but also getting the tram lines to run a bit more efficiently so what I'm going to do now is go into this window and I'm going to choose the three, these three lines the Elazarin, the Elizarin, Elazarin, Carmine and Ruby lines and I'm going to get rid of them. Like that. Like that. And like that. The maroon line, just going to check quickly, still runs from the very north depot here all the way down to the south depot here in this straight line. So that's cool. That's nice and running still. Right. Now that's done, I'm going to go into the depot, or to the hub anyway. I'm going to get rid of this road, like that. I'm going to get rid of this road, like that. <clears throat> I'm then going to come all the way over here. I'm going to go into this depot. I'm going to sell every single vehicle, like so. Getting a bit of money back from doing this, actually, so that's pretty cool. Wow, there's a lot of vehicles. Is it 80? 80 trams in this one depot, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. You can see we've got over 105 trams on our system. Which again, is just a, an obscene amount. Right, they're all gone anyway. We're now going to delete this depot. We're going to delete this road here and this road here. We're then going to delete these tram lines. Every single one of them. And there's probably people out there thinking, I've gone crazy. I shouldn't be doing this. But actually, <coughs> this will all make sense momentarily. And it's actually a very good idea what I'm doing here. Uh, just link that up again. And then delete that. And why can't I delete that bit? That's really weird. I might have to rebuild that section anyway, so that's not an issue. Uh, and then I'm also going to delete this bit of track here, this bit of track here, this bit of track here, uh, and that one's already done. So that's okay. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to do is delete this road and rebuild it uh, in this style. something like this it's going to come out to around here and then it's going to curve ah see what the hell is that apparently I can't bulldoze that because it belongs to another company how ah, weird okay we'll build around it so we'll come out like this and then no out like this and then around like oh god start again out like that and then round to there and then up and out like that That's probably actually better than the original, and buses here can still turn right, so that's cool. 
Uh, should I rebuild this one as well? I think this one's okay. I don't mind having the three, three lanes there. Uh, right, wires. I did not want to do that. So I guess... We could have them run there. But I think that one will probably be best. And then that will come all the way around. And then we'll have one wire going off in this direction. And one wire... Ah, see, that's where it looks ugly. I believe that's the one that needs to be used. So that's not worked. Uh, what if I built it from there? Looks slightly better, I suppose. I'm just going to have to put that in like that. And then from there to there like that. And then I have to delete this one. And run this wire into that bus lane. So again, we've got a bit of a conflicting movement going on there with uh, with trolleys and buses, but it's no biggie. I think I've done that without interrupting the uh, the flow too much, which is also a bonus. Okay, last thing I want to do. Um, See, so yeah, it actually involves moving the maroon line as well. So I'm going to have to do that. Okay. Uh, stops. We're going to get rid of all the stops. Like so. And then we're going to add them in again. With a slight difference. Uh, so we come straight through to this end, like that. Then we're going to go down every stop again. All the way down, keep going in a straight line. we get to this depot, where obviously we turn around and we come back. Got that right? Yeah. Oh, got an itchy arm. Give me a second. There we go. <coughs> Knowing me, I've probably missed out couple of stops, have I? Doesn't look like I have. And then that end. And then again, same all the way down here. Stop at each individual stop. Until <coughs> we get to this one, and then back to base. Like so. That's the maroon line rebuilt. I believe that's a large, yeah, that's a large depot. So what I'm going to do now is this one is the Ruby Lines depot. I'm going to demolish it and that road. And I'm going to replace it with a large depot. Which of course is going to be the Ruby Line depot. And then I'm going to build tram tracks in like that. Um, and then I'm going to come over to... Ah, now this is the, the new bit that I need to build. Basically the plan is <laughs> there are three south spurs on uh, this city. There's the one that we've just done, this maroon line. And then there's this one, which is the Alazarin line. And then there's this one, which is the Ruby line. <coughs> However, in the north, there's only two spurs. In fact, I got that wrong. That's the Carmine line down here, isn't it? Yes. Up here, there's only two spurs. There's this one, which is the Maroon line again. And then there's this one, which is the Ruby line. 
I want to build a third spur, so then I'm going to end up with three north to south routes that all run through the hub at these points here, which by the way, I'm now going to demolish these tram stops. So we'll have a stop at either end, and then there could be a queue of trams if necessary, which wouldn't if affect too badly the flow of other vehicles like buses and trolleys that are also running the routes around here. Um, four trolleys queuing for this one stop at the moment. That's a bit strange. I need to rename these as well. So that's north one. And that's south one. That's actually okay. I need to put a space in here because that's going to annoy me otherwise. Tell you what, we'll call this MCH Metro Link South or Metro Link S. <coughs> and then this one is going to be MCH Metro Link North or Tram Link. Did I put Metro Link? I think I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. That's a completely different system. Why did I do that? Tram Link north. There we go. Passengers are starting to get unhappy at these stops. Have I really just done that? I'm surprised they let me do that, to be honest. Unless I've spelt one wrong. I don't look like I have. Tram link, tram link. Ooh, uh. Uh, but yeah, passengers start to get unhappy, but I think trams should be running. How often have I got maroon line trams running? Every half an hour. What are we, Monday? Ah, oh, there we go, this one. <coughs> okay. Other things I want to do. Um, this road here, for example. It's good for getting this bus back to the depot. But apart from that, it just causes a nuisance for the tram system. Because trams have to stop here and then there's a backlog that goes all the way back into the hub. So ideally, uh, I can't get rid of this road because you see it's got stops on it. And I can't get rid of this road because, well, basically it ruins the symmetry and I don't really want to do that. So I could lower this road down, bring it up again, and then the bus can just go underneath like that, loop round and come back into the hub that way. So I am going to do that. So it's that one, isn't it? Delete, delete, and then we're going to choose this. We're going to bring it over here. We're going to go one, two, three down, and click and then we're going to go one two three up and there is our tunnel and then we can't do the same on this one however I don't think this junction here is needed <coughs> so we can get rid of that nor do I think this junction here is needed so we can get rid of that so that turns out into a weird u-shaped road however it's freed up another block here. And I think I've already done some of that. Yeah, you can see I've done some of that tunnel construction down this side. And then if I come over this way, uh, it's mainly actually main roads here. Although there's ones like this where I think actually that one could be dropped down. So that was a two lane like that. So again, one, two, three, click, one, two, three, click. And then we demolish that little bit in the middle there. And again, we got another complete tunnel. Uh, and we could do the same treatment with this one, I believe. It might make some of the bus routes a little bit longer, but in terms of, of how it helps the tram, it helps, well, you can't even put into words how much of a help it can be. Now I'm going to have to go over this time because the metro runs directly underneath. And in fact you can see the metro stop there which I'm going to have to rebuild now because um, I stupidly built over it. Like that and like that. I go onto that road now. So actually, we've kind of lost the connection slightly, but that's no biggie. 
It's no biggie. Yet. The worst things have happened. Um, I could do the same with this one. Build it down and then build it up again. This junction here I don't even think is needed. Really. So we'll get rid of that one. That, that helps out a little bit. And then uh, this one. We can have as a tunnel. So it goes one, two, three, build, one, two, three, build. And then we get rid of that joiner. There we go. Uh, that one's got a bus on it, and then we're at the top. So that's that bit pretty much completely rebuilt. And I think I noticed over here as well, although it might not be the case now, with the monorail. I think that one's sorted itself out. But there we go. So now we've got £66,000 to spend. We've got buses queuing like nobody's business. Why have we got so many buses here? They're running a long way around as well. Only allowed four buses at a t uh, 20 buses at a time inside that depot. That's a ridiculous amount. Might put another bus depot up here to replace the original tram depot and split some of the lines up. It does mean having to map out all those bus routes again actually, thinking about it. That was a bloody nightmare. Don't know if anyone can remember that episode. It was the worst experience of my life on this game having to do that um, I think keeping traffic lights here is probably a good idea just as a little bit of extra traffic control ok uh, let's build this new tram link and it's going to be here, it's going to branch off here and then it's going to run up and over this bridge here onto this part of the city which, as we know, is going to be developed a lot more as time goes by. But for now, I want to have it loop around like this and then perhaps follow this all the way down. Um, well, that's a bit too... I eh, don't like that idea, actually. I might have it come up here instead. Because I think I can just build that. Avenue... What is it? It's a 3x3. So, yeah, I could just have it come out like that. I mean, that's... Hmm. I'm trying to get a smooth curve. I mean, that's smooth-ish. And then this gives me an excuse to start developing this part of the city. Is that a bridge? Yes, it is. We don't want bridges. So now we can have a tram line that runs straight over like this. <coughs> and then... I guess have it loop round and up like this. Again, I don't want bridges, so avoid bridges at all costs. And preferably avoid tunnels as well. And then I can have it join up again there. Oh, that looks good. Big U shape like that. And then have this replaced with Avenue. Like this. All the way down like that. And like that. And then I can't link that one up. But that's cool because I can just delete that road. Bit of destruction going on at the moment, which I'm sure not all of our uh, residents will be happy with. If I got that right? Nope. That's the one I wanted. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh dear. Trolley line. Can't find a path to the next stop. Why is that? Oh. Oh. Is this the reason? I think this is the reason. 